Ooh, there's something. Oh, now that's a trout. That's a trout. I found him. No, it's not. It's a trout. It's another good trout. It's another good trout. So, hey guys, welcome back. Today, the target is to... I had to change up my game plan a little bit. So, I'm going to go get trout a little bit earlier. Uh, I'm going to head out to the flats. I got to fight the wind again. It's just that time of the year. It's spring this year. I don't know. It's just windy. So I'm gonna try to get a limited trout and then as the tide moves in, I'm gonna move into the mangroves and see if I can get some redfish. So let's get it. All right, let me see if I can get to this wave point. All right, let me see if I can get out to this wave point where I caught these trout at before. I marked it and I just wanna see if I can find fish in that same spot. Now we're getting something. Now we're getting a couple feet. Okay, now we can start casting. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. That little drop off right there. See how it drops off to three feet right there? That's what I wanted to see. Jig it up and down. That's there's one there was one right there that seems to be my the thing that that triggers the most strikes for me is jigging it up and down and i learned that from my buddy in alabama uh southern salt nate you know he's a master at fishing for trout so i've really taken that on as you know a good way to get fish to bite There's one. That's a ladyfish though. But you know it is a good way of getting them to bite. Dude, chill out. Chill out. Thank you. There's one. Is that a trout or is that a ladyfish? I think that's another ladyfish. Yep. Alright. Alright, let's go for a little bit. Let's move over here a little bit more. There's one right there. Or is that another ladyfish? That's another ladyfish. There's one. There's some. If I catch another stupid ladyfish. Man, what the heck? That's like five ladyfish. Alright. I'm going to try to hit the front side of where this like a sandbar that goes all the way across a flat point and it jumps up kind of quickly and so i'm trying to stay away from uh this guy over here but i want to hit the front edge of that you know cast and so that way i can bring it back this way and let's see what happens Oh, there's something. Oh, now that's a trout. That's a trout. I found him. Oh my. That's a big one. I found him. Oh, that's a good trout. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned. Get in here. That's a horrible net job. But it was worth it coming over here. So I was trying to figure out, there's a little sandbar here, but it got a little bit deeper right here. 
So this is nice. He's probably about 16. All right. Finally got the first trout of the day, guys. Yeah, he's probably about 15, 16. The trout have to be um, 15 inches here. And so, measuring this guy, he is definitely 15. Yep, he is 15 and a half. 15 and three quarters, actually. He's almost 16 inches. So, that's good to go. Came right out. We'll get him in the box, but if we can get a couple more like this, maybe a little bit bigger, I'll be happy. Yeah, he was almost directly on the bottom. I mean, I let that thing sit for a little bit, but this is what I'm fishing with, guys. It's the Z-Man 3-inch Minnow Z in a pinfish color. I'm using a quarter ounce trout eyes jig head. I'm using 20-pound fluoro, 10-pound braid, and I'm fishing on my old 18 kinetic medium light seven foot rod and i have that with a shimato corrado um so so i'm gonna get back out here in the same spot and let's see if we can get them all right guys i have switched to the slam shady color i broke off just a while ago and so i'm just gonna blow across this flat i mean it's in three feet of water and that's about the depth yep there's another bite that's a depth where i was getting the bites from so where i got that trout from but i keep running into a bunch of ladyfish and it's ticking me off because <laughs> they're they're not they're not fun to deal with that's what i want to see in the grass yeah that's what i want to see in the grass More than likely, if I'm in the grass, I'm gonna be hitting trout. That's a ladyfish. No, it's not, it's a trout. It's another good trout. That's another good trout. Oh man. They're almost on the bottom. He might be a little bit short. He might be 14. No, he might be right at 15. Ooh, good call to move over here a little bit further. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be like right at 15. But just like the other one, he smoked it. He smoked it. Yeah. 15 and a half. really wanted it a little bit bigger but I mean look at that both of them slammed it and you know they smoked it on the bottom both of them so do I keep it or try to get another one bigger I think the next one I'll keep this one and then the next one I'll just go for anything bigger than 17. Because like I said, we can only keep three here in Florida. In the area where I'm at. Just three. So, all right. That was a good call to come over here. Let's see if we can find this last one. And they are almost on the bottom. But as soon as I hit grass with that one, and that's where I found them. I had a couple. I had a couple of bites. I thought they were ladyfish at first, but no, it was a nice solid trout. All right, guys, that is two fish right there. Two solid keepers. So if you like videos like this where I'm catching trout, leave that in the comments. Um, I I love catching trout. I love fishing for them, uh, trying to figure them out because you're in this open body of water, and you're trying to figure out where this 
these fish are consolidated. So I'm starting to dial them in. Stay tuned. Let's get this last one for the limit. Staying consistently in this three foot zone is producing. That's the advantage of having a fish finder. You can definitely tell and dial in patterns, you know, according to depth and temperature and all that stuff. So, so the, what technique that I'm using, guys, I'm just casting it out. I'm letting it go down a couple of seconds and then I'm just raising my rod to the, up slightly and then winding down. And what that bait is doing is going up and down like this. It's like an injured bait fish. And so the fish, it, I'm getting reaction strikes from them. I don't know if this is a ladyfish or a trout. It's a trout. Hey, it's not as big as the other ones. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. I was gonna let him go anyway. Another ladyfish. Oh no, nope, it's another trout. It's another trout. is not that big i'm gonna let him go he's not nearly as big as the other ones but it's another trout the technique is working guys the technique is working they're liking it i don't want to get too far into the shallows into this sandbar there's another one. Oh, that's another trout. Small, but it's another trout. Um, the last time I came out here and I caught like 20 trout um, over in this area. Only one of them was of any size. Yeah, they like this color. Plus they like this bait. It's just a smaller profile. And it's like the perfect eating size for them. A three inch paddle tail is, is it. So this three inch paddle tail, I'm using a Z-Man. This is the slam shady color on a quarter ounce Texas side jig. These, this is the perfect size for trout in the springtime. And so just coming out here on the flats, finding some grass, finding a depth where they're at. Man, once you hit one, it's usually on and popping from there. Oh, oh, that's a solid trout. That's a solid trout. Oh, he stuck it. Yeah, he stuck that thing. I don't know if he's gonna be my 17. He's definitely not gonna be my 17. But it is another solid trout. He's bigger than what I thought, or smaller than what I thought he was. But nice nose, another solid trout. trout he got bit by something too he got bit by something oh yeah that's my 16 inch trout right there guys look at that we got gashed by a dolphin but that's all right you're going in the box buddy i know you escaped from the dolphin but you are my keeper trout. 
recently oj simpson passed and there's all kinds of controversy around it and i look at it this way he was a phenomenal football player he got caught up in some things he did some things that he shouldn't have done we have no idea um, about all that he's done i think we could say that same thing about each one of us if you really think about it all of us the bible says has fallen short of the glory of god so he was on trial for murder but jesus said if you're angry with your brother in your heart you have already committed murder so proverbs 10 12 says hatred stirs up quarrels but love makes up for all offenses and then first peter 4 8 says most important of all continue to show deep love for each other for love covers a multitude of sins and so oj's gone he is now having the deal he's already stood before the father and answered for his sins whether he's asked for forgiveness and accepted jesus as his lord and savior we have no idea but each one of us has that opportunity and we're here on the earth and we have people around us that we just do not like there are people that watch this channel just to say mean things about me and that's fine if that's what you want to do but here's the deal my job is to pray for each one of you that if you are not a believer that you become one so if there's anything that i can say is guys i pray that you have a relationship with jesus christ he is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father god almighty except through him that's what the word says i believe it i live it and i love it guys we're going to jump straight into the kitchen so i'd already filleted the trout that made six nice fish fillets we're actually going to make fish tacos so this is really simple so i use some chef paul perdome's black redfish magic this is really delicious you don't need a whole lot um but just good sprinkle on there to coat the whole fish. And so I'm gonna do the same seasoning on both sides. After that, I hit it with some smoked paprika, hit it with some wood fire garlic. If you guys don't know about this, this is the bomb. Once that is completely seasoned, I went ahead and put some lemon on there. Any kind of inshore fish, I usually use some, either lemon or lime. So we're gonna put this in an egg wash. So I'm gonna have a light breading. This is Louisiana seasoned fish fry. I have that in the bag. I've added a little bit more of the Chef Pardon's seasoning in there. I had already seasoned both sides of the fish. I'm gonna soak these in there, make sure that they're coated really well, drop them inside that breading. And once I get all of them in there, I'm just gonna shake it up really well. I'm gonna use some high heat olive oil, just enough that way it covers half of the fish. Once it's hot, and ready to go. As you can see how I dropped the fish in there, it's not covering the fish totally. So you don't need a whole lot because trout fillets are kind of thin. But you're just gonna let it go for a couple minutes. You'll start seeing the top side of it getting a little, um, pulling apart a little bit, and then you'll know that it's ready to flip. And like I said, it's only a couple minutes, flip these on over, and they look delicious already. So once they're done, I just take them out, put them out on a little paper towel in a dish and get ready to serve these things up. You can tell that they're golden brown and crispy and the white flake on the inside, you know it's ready to go. So I'm going to start the tacos with a little bit of vegetable slaw, some diced tomatoes. This is a tomato trinity. I'm going to hit that with some mango salsa and then I have a couple different sauces. We have the cilantro lime sauce and then the secret sauce, the Cajun flavor, and just your flour tortillas. And you can't forget to top it off with a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna make one little taco here real quick for y'all. This is gonna be a fast down and dirty one because I was extremely hungry. So I put my fish on there, my slaw, add a little bit of cheese, and I just skipped the mango sauce for now and then hit with this Cajun sauce and man this thing was good my daughter's she fixed hers up and man look how this looks oh my 
goodness. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me in this one. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I caught those trout. If you guys like me doing videos like this here in Tampa, let me know. Uh, comment below. Like I said, I just really appreciate you guys. If you did like this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you've never subscribed before, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out. And then share my channel so that way others can see the type of content I'm putting out. All right, guys. Remember, God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. All right. Peace.